Hello, this is part 6 of how to price an option using a binomial tree. Here we look at when the tree is structured on the underlying stock price, uh, the notes has relationships between them, and so after this, we will put some numbers in and see how this works. Here, at each of these, are called a note. All of these are called notes. So just in case you hear me say notes and you don't know what it is. In our example here, we assume the stock price right now. So here S is the stock price. Zero means as of now, time zero is 100. So that is our example. So the easiest thing to do would be just look at the extreme up and down of the tree first. So if the, if the stock price now is 100, if it go up in the next time period, so after one step, it will be 100 times U. Okay. Uh, if we do another time step and it go up again, that will be 100 times U square. It's effectively taking this 100 U from the first period, it goes up again, so I want to know how much it go up by, so I times another U, so it's 100 U square. If we do the third step, it go up again. It's 100 u to the power 3. If we assume it go up again, it's 100 times u to the power 4. So here, after this, we have constructed the upper extreme of the stock price. So here we're assuming over four steps, the stock price move up in each and all of these four steps. We can also construct a downside. So here we have 100 to start. Along the same rationale, it becomes 100 times D if the stock price goes down in the first step. If it goes down again in the second step, it's 100 D squared. If it goes down in the third step once again, three times in a row it goes down, it would be 100 D to the power 3. 100 to the times d to the power 4 is if the stock price goes down four successive time periods. So this would be the outer extreme of our stock price. Here as this example, I put in u equals to 1.1. In a, in a question format, you'll be given the volatility and we just put it into the formula to the uh, calculation of e to the power of volatility times square root of t we have this so from the earlier exercise we have kind of what we, we, have, we know what u is in this example I assume it is 1.1 calculated so d would be 1 over 1.1 or equals to 0.9091 so here I uh, used the previous version of the formula so 100 is my initial price and this is 100 U, meaning 100 times 1.1. This 1.1 1, 1 .1 means if the price go up, it go up by 10%. So if I take 100 initial price times 1.1, 1 .1, I get the increase of 10% uh, plus my original principle of 110. Two times in a row it go up, U square. So 100 times 1.1 1 .1 times 1.1, 1 .1. three times, four times. If the stock price go down, 100 times D, which is 0.9091. 100 times D squared, if it go down twice in a row. So we construct the outer extreme of the tree. In my next step, uh, if we go back to our earlier uh, extension of the structure of the tree, we see that These two should be the same price for the stock. So pretty much, I don't need to recalculate everything in the middle. I just copy whatever's on the left over to the right to complete the rest of the numbers. So here, I do these to complete. And so I have a fully constructed binomial tree based on just calculating the upper and lower extreme of, uh, of the binomial tree.